Hello, hello, Jeff Elvin here with Balin Brands, and today I'm gonna to show you how to add the reCAPTCHA field on your forms using Elementor. Now, the reason why we do this is to help reduce the amount of spam traffic we might get from our public website forms here. So I wanna show you how to walk through those steps as it is a multi-step process and uh, sometimes can be a little confusing, but we wanna make sure you're getting the uh, best protection from spam from those forms here. So first thing I do is I'm pulling up a website that we have built on Elementor here. And let's say I wanna add a form maybe to our about page. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on About Us, and then I'm gonna click up here with Edit with Elementor. All right, so this is gonna load my page here in the Elementor page builder. And I'm gonna pull here, you'll see I was kinda of doing a little sample, but we'll delete that and kinda of start from the beginning. So let's say instead of a Learn More Here button, I wanna go ahead and just have a form that says Get More Information, right, something like that. So I'm, what I'm, first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull over the form widget. So I can type in form up here and I can drag over the form widget. And here we have by default has name, email, and message. Now all the configuration for the forms over here on the left-hand side. So we have name, email, and message. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add the item and you can see all the different form types that we can set up in here. Now in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and use reCAPTCHA. Now there's the reCAPTCHA and then there's reCAPTCHA version three. Um, really version three is just a later one. Uh, there isn't necessarily, you know, one that everyone always uses over the other. Sometimes there's preferences, but we'll go ahead and just do the reCAPTCHA version three just for the sake of this particular uh, video. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on version three. Now you'll see over here on the right hand side, um, one thing to note is reCAPTCHA isn't always a field on the website or on the form that you see. Sometimes reCAPTCHA is in the background. So it's less about the visual um, but there is like a little badge that'll show up and you can kind of choose where that shows. Um, but what you're seeing over here on the right hand side, it says to use reCAPTCHA version three, you need to add the API key and complete the setup process in dashboard, Elementor, settings, integrations, reCAPTCHA version three. So what this is saying is that in order to secure the form and use reCAPTCHA, you have to actually have a reCAPTCHA code to do so, okay? So that's what we're gonna do here. So it, it walks you right through it here. It tells you where we're supposed to go, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and go, I'm gonna open a new window and go to my, back to my WordPress dashboard here. All right, so dashboard. Now I'm just gonna click back over and see. So it says to go to dashboard, right? Elementor, settings, integrations, reCAPTCHA. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on, hover over Elementor, settings. Then up here, integrations, and I'm looking for reCAPTCHA. So again, you can do reCAPTCHA or you can do the reCAPTCHA version three. You'll also see there's like a Google Maps embed API if you have that set up. But this is where just your uh, different integration settings with Elementor are, are stored. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this reCAPTCHA three. Now it says it's a free service by Google, protects your website from spam and abuse. It does this while letting your valid users pass through with ease. Well, sounds great, that's what we're looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on reCAPTCHA version three. Now what that does, it pulls me over to the actual interface where I would be setting up my license, my key here. So um, I already have an account, so I'm gonna click on this V3 admin console, and it already has me logged in because I have done this for other websites as well. Um, and you'll see I have some set up in here. But if you don't already, it's just gonna walk you through the setup process, which is pretty straightforward too. It just, again, needs you to be logged into one of your Gmail um, interfaces so that you can control all of this there. So I'm gonna simply click add, because I wanna create a new reCAPTCHA, and I'm doing the version three, okay? Then it's saying add a domain. So I'm gonna actually use the domain here, which in this case is one of our uh, demo domains. So we're gonna do the theme three. So add a domain, so I'm gonna paste that in. Um, who's the owners? This is what it has me on record. I'm going to accept the CAPTCHA, reCAPTCHA terms of service, uh, basically letting us know, you know, it's their privacy policy, terms of use, the kind of standard things. And then do you want it to send alerts? Now the alerts would come like if it blocks. So like you'll see this little hover over. So get alerts if Google detects problems with your site, such as misconfiguration or in increase in suspicious traffic. So it's kind of a nice feature. You'll get an alert there. So I'm going to go ahead and click submit. Oh, and I didn't give it a label here. So we'll just call this one theme three demo. Okay, hit submit. 
Uh, oh, no protocol, sorry. So again, it'll walk you right through. That's the great part about this is that there's really not a lot of ways to mess it up. So it just wants the actual domain, not the URL, the full HTTPS part of it. So hit submit. There we go. So now what it does is it's been registered. That, again, that's all we have to do is register the site so we have that. So it has this site key. So I'm gonna go ahead and click copy site key. I'll go back to my um, configuration here and you'll see site key, paste. And then there's a secret key. So I'll go back to reCAPTCHA and there's this secret key. So copy that, hit paste. Now there is a score threshold, you know, how, how much you wanna control it. Um, you know, there are some false positives sometimes, so we usually recommend just kind of having a, you know, balance. So you'll see here it's zero and one, so the default is 0.5, so it's kind of in the middle. But if, if you want it to be higher, you're still getting spam, you can increase that. If you want it to be lower because you get complaints from your customers that they can't, you know, fill out the form and pass through, then you might want to, you know, lower that in that case. So I'm going to go ahead and just hit save changes. Perfect. Now I haven't reloaded this page or anything like that. So of course it still has this particular thing. Um, if I wanted to, I could kind of back out. Let's go to exit to dashboard. It pulls me back up uh, just the page, like the normal about us page. I'm gonna click edit with Elementor again. All right, it's page load the page. And now if I click on the form I just don't want to move it. Here we go. Um, so you'll see here, this is where we have the recapture. So you see how that, that little message is not there anymore. So it's showing you that we can still use it because it's already configured. So it does recognize that. Um, so we're going to go ahead and change the name, the label here. It just says item number four. So just, just to kind of keep things a little cleaner. It doesn't technically matter what it says because it doesn't show up anywhere, but it just kind of helps us know if we're trying to configure fields, what's what. All right, so there you go. That's really all we have to do. Of course, now we're just gonna click update, save the page, and then the reCAPTCHA is now in there. So if you do have these forms set up on your website um, and you're having some challenges, maybe getting too much spam, things of that nature, then we definitely recommend adding that reCAPTCHA field. There is another field called Honeypot that is supposed to also help, but we haven't found um, Honeypot's another uh, kind of form validator thing. It's not necessarily configured through Google with all the setups, but um, we haven't really noticed that that does a lot for our spam. We still seem to get spam come through when we have that honeypot in there. So reCAPTCHA seems to be the better option overall. And now we know how to set that up. It's free. It's just a matter of getting that configured and then making sure that we add that on each of our forms that we build in Elementor. If you have any questions on that, by all means, you can reach out to us at team at